Today, I'm making a healthier version of a traditional green bean casserole. Now, I'm not using any canned soup in this. We're making our soup all homemade, and it's relatively easy to do. And uh, we're making it gluten-free, and it can also easily be made dairy-free by just leaving off the cheese at the very end. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, I'd like to start off with chef joke number one. Number two will be a little bit later, so stay tuned for that. All right, here we go. What acting job did the green bean audition for? The casserole. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go over the ingredients so you can see what is in our recipe. First up, we have green beans. I've got uh, organic green beans here. They, these are fresh green beans. You could use frozen if you want. Just make sure you thaw them out first and make sure they're drained. I have some Baby Bella mushrooms. And oh, by the way, I wanna mention that if you want the written recipe, just look below this video in the description area. Click that button down there that says show more and you will find that along with all my social media links and some links to products that you might be interested in. So check it out. We also have a yellow onion here that I'm going to dice up nice and fine. I'm making quick work of this by slicing first horizontally, then vertically, and then down, and you've got these nice little pieces. We have some minced garlic. Now I have some breadcrumbs here. These are gluten-free, they're by Alia, and they also have a little bit of Italian seasoning in there, so it adds a little bit more flavor. I'm using some white flour. I'm using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, which works perfect for this. I have some melted butter. I like to use Kerrygold a little bit of salt and pepper. And for the top, this is optional, I have some Parmesan cheese that I'm gonna grate over the top. We'll also need some almond milk. Now you want to make sure that you use unsweetened original. Do not use vanilla or anything other than just unsweetened original. You'll need some chicken stock and some olive oil. I'm trimming off my green beans here, just cutting off any dark spots and just cleaning them up. All right, we're gonna head on over to the stove. We're gonna place our green beans into a pot of boiling water. So put them in gently so they don't splash. Bring that back up to a boil and let them cook, let them simmer for six minutes. And then we'll drain them when we're done. All right, six minutes are up. You, what you wanna do is test your green beans. You wanna see if they are slightly tender. That felt pretty good. You, you don't want them real hard because they're not gonna cook that long in the oven. All right, that was a little tough yet. I'm gonna go one more minute. Okay, let's try that one more time. We wanna make sure these are soft enough, but not too soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that one. Perfect. I'm gonna drain these and just set them aside. Now for the mushrooms, I, I like to trim off a little bit of the end piece. And then you can do these one of two ways. You can slice them if you like the texture of mushrooms then you can just slice them up. I would cut these one more, a couple more times just to get them a little bit smaller because they're kind of large. But I'd leave them in, you know, bigger pieces like that. Now, if you're like me and you don't like the texture of mushrooms but you like the flavor, and of course we need it in this recipe, I would slice them up and then I would chop them up until they're nice and fine like the onions. So now we're gonna work on our soup mixture. So I got my frying pan here over medium low heat. We'll, get it, we'll start it up with medium heat just to get things going. And I'm gonna place a couple of tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. So we'll start out on medium heat, get this thing going, and then we'll turn it down as it cooks. And we're gonna cook this for 20 to 25 minutes. We're gonna do the onions and the mushroom. All right, you can see now that the onions and the mushrooms are starting to take off. I turned down the heat just a little bit and I'll continue to do that as it cooks. These mushrooms need to release their water and it'll take a little while. And you're gonna see this cook down quite a bit. Now I also like to add just a pinch of salt to this. So while our onions and mushrooms are cooking up, we are going to mix up our liquid. So I've got some almond milk. Well, actually I have some chicken broth in the container there and I'm gonna add some almond milk to this. And then I'm gonna add the flour that we talked about earlier. Now you wanna make sure to add the flour to either a cool or cold liquid. That way you avoid lumps. And the salt. Come on out of there. All 
Here's our onion mushroom mi mixture. You can see how it's cooked down a lot. This has been 25 minutes and now it's time to add our garlic. So I'm just going to toss that in and we're going to just mix that around. Get all of that in there. Come on. Work that in for about one minute. When you get that garlic touching the hot pan, it starts to get very aromatic and smells incredible. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat off on the pan and just set this aside. All right, it's time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What did the green bean have to pass to get its license? The salad bar. <laughs> now we're gonna take our milk mixture, pour it into a saucepan. Make sure you get all the flour in there. You can see a little bit hanging out. And we're going to start this on medium heat. And we're going to cook this for about three minutes or so until it thickens up. Okay, so here's our sauce. You can see that it has thickened up. It looks like thick soup. All right, so now we're going to take this and pour it into our mushroom mixture. See how nice and thick that is? Now I'm going to stir this together. And it's all going to come together nice and thick and creamy. Now you want to make sure you get this completely mixed in evenly. And this is what you use instead of canned mushroom soup. I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper to that. And now we're ready to add the green beans. So we'll add those to the pan. Now they've cooled off because they've been sitting out for a bit. And that's okay because they're still going back in the oven. At this point, we want to give this a nice mix and coat the beans with the sauce. So now I'm going to transfer this to my baking dish. Now I have my breadcrumbs here in a bowl and my melted butter, and I'm going to combine the two together and just mix the butter into the crumbs. And this is just going to look like, kind of like sand wet sand. It's going to give those crumbs a nice flavor. And I'm going to sprinkle this over the green beans. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's spread the crumbs over the green beans. This will make a nice little layer of crust over the top. Spread it all out and we're ready for the Parmesan cheese. Grate a generous portion of Parmesan cheese over the top and then we'll place it in the oven. So this is going in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, like I said, at 350. This is getting hot and we have a nice little bubble going on, so it's time now to put this under the broiler. Here it is out of the oven. We're now ready to serve it up. All right, here's our green bean casserole. It smells amazing. I'm going to cut just a piece off. Ooh, it's got a nice little crunch on top when I did that. Nice. See if we can get always the first piece that's the toughest to get out, right? Do the best we can. Ooh. There we go. And of course, our taste test. Really great flavor, nice and savory. Got that little crunch on top from the Parmesan and the breadcrumbs. The soup part is very, you know, mushroomy. It's very delicious, very, oh, very good, very savory. You can make this anytime. It doesn't have to be Thanksgiving. You can do it tonight if you want. If you like casseroles, you might want to check out my Mexican beef casserole. Super delicious. I'm going to leave a link for you on the screen here, and you can check it out. Really worth looking into. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button for me to let me know. All right, we'll see you next time for another rockin' recipe.